Okay, so here in this question we have a rectangular field is 40 meters long and 30 meters wide. Okay, so 40 meters long and 30 meters wide. This is the rectangular field that we have. Okay, now here draw diagonals on this field. Okay, let's draw diagonals on this field. This is the first diagonal and this is the second diagonal. Diagonals meet here. And then draw circles of radius 1.25 meters with centers only on the diagonals. Each circle must fall completely within the field and any two circles can touch each other but not overlap. Okay. So for example, one circle will be drawn here. The center will be at the uh, on the diagonal and the radius is 1.25. That means the diameter will be 2.5 of each circle. Another circle will be like this, then like this and so on. Then you'll have a circle at the center also. Then these circles will keep going on till you have a circle here which will exactly touch the two uh, uh, two sides of this square similarly you'll have uh, of the rectangle similarly you'll have circles on this diagonal as well and this will keep going on like this so let's just focus on one diagonal here what will be the length of the diagonal the length of the diagonal will be the length of the sides are 30 and 40 so this basically becomes a right angle triangle so Pythagorean triplet is 30, 40, 50. So length of each diagonal will be 50 units. Okay. Now let's focus on this part here, the corner of the rectangle. So the corner of the rectangle will have a circle, which will exactly touch the two sides. And the diagonal is going something like this. And this is the center here. Fine. Now the radius is 1.25. And this part here will also be 1.25 here. Okay. So what will be this part here? 1.25 into root 2. So this is 1.25 into root 2 is 1.41. Okay. So now you see of the total length of the diagonal which is available for circles, the circle will not lie on this part of the diagonal. Right. So what will be this part of the diagonal? 1.25 into 1.41 is approximately 1.76. So this length here is 1.76 out of which circle lies only on the 1.25 uh, meter path. So that means this green region here, the green region here will be 1.76 minus 1.25, which is approximately 0 0.51, 0 0.51 meters. So 0 0.51 meters here, this part is 0 0.51 meters. Similarly, this part here is also 0 0.51 meters. Okay. So the circles will not lie on this 0 0.51, 0 0.51 meters. That means of the total 50 meters available to us, uh, of the total 50 meters of the diagonal, 0 0.51 plus 0 0.51, so 1.02 is subtracted. So the length of the diagonal where the diameter of circles will lie is approximately 48.98, okay? So 48.98 meter length is available of the diagonal for circles. And each circle's diameter is 2.5. So number of circles, number of circles per diagonal, number of circles per diagonal will be how many? 48.98 divided by 2.5 here. Okay. So 48.98 divided by 2.5 will approximately be equal to 19 point something. So that means maximum 19 circles can be drawn on one diagonal. So on this diagonal, 19 circles can be drawn in which the middle circle will be exactly at the meeting point of the diagonal. Since the number of circles is an odd number, that means there will be a circle right exactly on the midpoint of this diagonal, right? whose center will be the midpoint of this diagonal. So 19 circles on this diagonal, similarly 19 circles on this diagonal. So 19 plus 19 is 38. But this center circle is common to both of these diagonals, hence minus 1. So 19 plus 19 minus 1. So we'll have 37 circles. Okay, we'll have 37 circles here. Fine. But here might arise a confusion. Will these two circles here, won't they overlap one circle here, which is right uh, next to the central circle on this diagonal and another circle which is right next to the central circle on this diagonal? Will they overlap or will they not overlap? Okay. So let's see if they will overlap or not. So this is the smaller side 30, the diagonals, they intersect like this here. 
okay this is the central circle then you have one circle on this diagonal like this and one circle on this diagonal like this so one cir this circle center will be here this circle center will be here if the distance between the centers is more than 2.5 then the diagonals will not overlap or circles will not overlap if the center this radius is 1.25 this radius is 1.25 so if this total distance between the centers is more than 2.5 the two circles will not overlap each other okay so let's see will the distance be more than 2.5 uh, 2, uh, 2 meters or not here fine okay so let me name these points here let's say this is a b this is o this is d and this is e so now you see triangle a b o is similar to triangle d e o triangle d e o these two are similar triangles that means o d upon o a is equal to d e upon a b okay so let's see o d here will be 1.25 plus 1.25 which is 2.5 o a will be uh, 25 half of the total diagonal which is 25 which is equal to DE divided by AB. AB is how much? 30. So from here DE comes out to be 3. Now since DE is 3, we know the circles will not overlap each other because if this distance was less than 2.5, 1.25 plus 1.25, okay. If this, this distance is less than 2.5, then the circles will overlap. If this, this distance is more than 2.5, the circles will not overlap. So if these two circles are not overlapping, obviously the other circles will also not overlap. Hence, the total number of circles will be 19 plus 19 minus 1. So your final answer is option D, 37 here. Okay. So that's it for this question. Thank you.